All right, welcome to another episode of River Pike. We're fishing post spawn fish, and this is the oh, it's the first one of the day. It's a big one. So we figured, okay, let's go for some river fishing and see how the rivers are doing. Oh, dead on. I supply the boat, you supply the coffee. This is the shallow area and this is the deep end. We got the current coming this direction. Look at that, look at that. That's a fish. That's, that might, yeah. We're keeping the boat on seven meters up the All the bait fish and all the big fish we can see on the sonar, we find on seven meter curve. This is a, this is, this is a big pike. <laughs> oh, yeah. On the hot pike. Oh, I see. Power oh, apple. Take. Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a 10 kilo plus fish. Maybe. Should be. This is a brutal fish. All right, hi everyone, and welcome to River Pike episode five. River Pike is the series on Canal Gratis where we take you river fishing in the fantastic river system that we have in Sweden. And we have a lot of river system in Sweden, so there's gonna be a lot of river pikes for you guys. Lots of fun. And the point and idea with this program series is the same thing as when we did our TV show Fina Fisken. It's because I'm a beginner at river fishing and want to learn how to fish in the river system. So uh, you get to follow along for the ride, so to speak. Lots of fun. Uh, I've been actually, it's, it's spring fishing and uh, the ice has just, uh, it's been ice out all over Sweden. So we figured, okay, let's go for some river fishing and see how the rivers are doing. Because we had a long spring and a warm spring, so the, the, the river water has been quite warm and very stable for quite long. So the river fishing might work. And uh, I'm uh, thinking immediately of my uh, good friend Stefan Olsson. Uh, I, I really want to go fish with him again. Uh, he's had some success uh, already this year, but uh, I'm thinking maybe we should call him and see how things are doing before we actually go up there. And my idea now is to bring you here into the studio. This is, by the way, where Canal Gratis do our live show. And this is also the place where we sit and plan all our production. It's the control room where we go in and have, a, uh, usually I have Joya and Pontus and everybody's in here. We're looking at maps radar pictures of weather, we're tracking where the fish is spawning and um, where the fishing is going on so we can plan our hundreds of productions that we have every year in Canal Gratis uh, to deliver you some good fishing films. So right now I'm looking at radar pictures to follow the rain because we got some rain going on. It's not a bad thing in the spring, it's a good thing, uh, but uh, we want to keep looking on where it is because we don't want to fish in the middle of the rain because, you know, we have cameras and stuff. And also, I'm uh, browsing through different pages that track temperatures, sport fishing club that uh, throughout the, uh, the river systems track the temperature in the rivers so that we can see when it's stable and when it's not stable and so on. And also, of course, we're looking at the air pressure. Uh, I know you guys know that it means a lot for perch that has a closed swimming bladder. Pike has an open swimming bladder, but it also means a lot for the pike on the low pressure and high pressure. And even if we don't know exactly how much, or I'm not at that level of fishing yet, I want to track it and log it because it's important. It helps me become a better angler. So it's part of the journey to follow and track the weather if you want to take it to the next step. Right now I'm calling Stefan and I'm gonna see how his rivers are doing and the areas that he's fishing and see if we might plan to go up there tomorrow for a day session. Hang tight. Oh, Stefan. Hello Stefan, how are you doing? Hi, hi Johan, I'm fine. You're I'm fi fine. Can you hear me there loud and clear? I hear you loud and clear. All right, perfect. So. Uh, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm, we're actually filming this session, Stefan. We're thinking of coming your way tomorrow. What, what, are, you, what are you available for fishing, first of all, tomorrow? Oh, you, yes, yes, I am. Yeah. Fun. Sorry, if it's you're a, gonna come. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's a bit of a surprise. I, I didn't uh, warn you before I called, <laughs> but, but uh, this, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Tell me, uh, how is uh, the forecast? What's the situation uh, over where you are at? Can we fish? Uh, uh, yes, the temperature in the water seems to be, I think it, uh, it's quite steady. It's steady temperature? 
Yes, it's steady. 7.5 degrees, I think, now. Okay, Stefan, but if, if everything checks out fine, uh, uh, I can call you later tonight and we'll work out the details, but I, I'll, I'll probably pop up around, uh, you know, I have four hours drive to you, so... Uh, yes, yes. I'll see you tomorrow uh, and the, at the boat launch at, uh, I don't know, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, okay. So I'll, I'll supply, I supply the boat, you supply the coffee. Yes. Okay. And uh, yes, I, I, I fix the food. Yeah, and, and, and the pikes, Stefan. <laughs> I guide you, I guide you. Yeah, okay. Let's stop talking and let's start fishing. I'll see you tomorrow at the boat launch, Stefan. <laughs> yes, see you. All see right. You. Bye. Okay, bye bye. All right, so uh, we got clouds, we got all the things we need. I'm saying we have a go on this one. We're going river fishing and we're going to meet up with Stefan and hopefully we'll hook up with some one of the first maybe uh, post spawn pikes. Let's go to Stefan. Alright, welcome to another episode of River Pike. We're fishing post spawn fish and this is the Ooh, it's the first one of the day! It's a big one! Ooh, it's, a, it's a big fish. I'm with Stefan. I'm with Stefan oh, Olson. Yes. And we're fishing River Pike. And we're fishing post spawn fish. And this is a classic school book example. Ooh. Scoopa! Ooh. We've been fishing for, sorry I'm a bit shaky. We have been fishing, this is my third cost on this spot. We uh, immediately contacted fish on the sonar. It's a huge pike. I found my net at This is a, this is, this is a big pike. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a 10 kilo plus fish. Maybe, should be. This is a brutal fish. Third cast on our episode of River Pike together with Stefan Olsson. Got in a pig shot, okay boy, you perch. Post spawn fishing. Yes. We knew where to go, where, how to locate and find them. It's a lot I saw it on the sonar, I will show you. But we need to get, scale this and get some measurements. This is a good fish. 25 grams of lead. 118. Oh. Då är den 10. 118. 118 centimeters. I'm gonna make sure the net gets wet. She's got some big belly to her, Stefan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Still. 11.20, 11.30. minus the sack. Yes. That's uh, sort of 10 point something. Right now we're anchored on 2.3 meters here. But we came in from this way and we know you can see on the outer shark here that this is the shallow area and this is the deep end. We got the current coming this direction and creates the eddy here. And the fish spawn in this area and in this areas. So we found bream over here. And so therefore, you know, it's a textbook example. And uh, we came in, we marked a huge fish on the sonar there drifted over it and we saw another couple of fish in the deeper end but it was in the deeper end over here that i had that take we can see the fish on the sonar big echoes and uh, they're a bit risen over the bottom 
50 centimeters to one meter standing on top of the bottom. That means that the fish are feeding actively at the moment. That means no more talking and more fishing. <laughs> what do you say, Stefan? Yes. Pig shot Okaboy perch on the Canal Gratis color. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. We're back over six meters of depth, Stefan. And uh, we're going against the current and against the wind. And we're gonna slowly work our way up, slowly, 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 to find another pike. We have a chance to catch more big fish in this area. And there's no point in running across the lake to get water. They are here. So we're gonna spend a lot of time. Look at that, look at that. That's a fish. That's, that might, yeah. See that? That's a fish. One thing that I've done with this lure that I caught the big fish on is that I have inserted a bower rattle, we call it. It's made for the bower rigs for fly fishing. We have them in the Canal Gratis e-commerce. Canalgratis.se and uh, I don't know if you can hear it. But it rattles. And uh, you haven't had a bite yet. No. So, and I had that bite, so. Stefan wants a, a rattle. <laughs> this is what they look like. We're gonna use the red one. So over here, there's a corner where you can insert the little rattle. Because rubber lures are silent and the hook doesn't make a noise. So we need to stand out and really annoy the fish. Yes. When we're fishing for post-spawn fish. So we just pierce this point here in the middle. And it's important that it is straight and is in the middle. Otherwise it's gonna flip out on the side like that and then we just insert it like this careful and make sure it goes straight into stefan's hot pike see that see so now you guarantee now we got a rattle tail no. let's see if that works and if you hook up on that yes let's catch one yes oh it's a rattle <laughs> bower rattle bower rattle, bower, bower rattle. It, it's the smallest one for the year. Yeah, is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. On the hot spike. Oh, I see it. Bow oh, rattle. Take. Alit. Is this it's a better one? I must have hooked a perch. It's a small pike. These are male. Maybe we came into some sort of spawning ground here. Two fishes in uh, one minute. Yeah. Keeping the boat on seven meters of depth. All the bait fish and all the big fish we can see on the sonar, we find on seven meter curve. There, there's just so much big fish in this area. We have moved, we're downstream, and it is a ridiculous amount of fish in this area. Stefan just had a smaller contact with uh, a supposedly big fish. We drifted over a, a big echo and uh, Stefan uh, had a bite but missed it and I yeah and I had a bite earlier on up in another eddy and um, yeah there's big stuff going on here um, we're fishing around rocks and stuff so just recently also I changed my hook set always keep an eye on the hooks uh, when you're fishing um, deep water uh, rocky water like this it's so easy that you get lazy and don't uh, sharp, keep your hook sharp and then you're going to miss that bite, especially when they're coming on slow. Oh my God, look at that. That's not a fish. That's got to be something else. Yeah, I don't think it's a fish. You guys ask a lot of questions in our YouTube comments fields and we love that. And unfortunately, we don't have time to answer them all. But I will take this opportunity to go through our gear real quickly. I know you're very curious about it. So here's for all you guys who want to know how to and where to. Uh, I'm uh, spin right now when we're, we're fishing uh, rubber lure, heavy rubber lure. I'm using a, um, a root rod. This is called a BFT Roots and it's, uh, it's a nine footer. And I think the casting weight, yeah, it's 150. 
50 gram. So uh, for real, I'm using, or for line, we can start with the line. This is a suffix, uh, 0 0.36 uh, suffix braid, I think. I love the suffix, this uh, suffix line, it's, uh, it's doing the job. Uh, maybe this one is 0 0.36. I'm testing this uh, right now to see if the strength is good. And because when you're river fishing, you might want to use a thicker line all the way up to maybe a 0 0.41 millimeters test. And that's because uh, there's a lot of rocks and there's a lot of logs and stuff. Remember, we talked about this in, um, in uh, River Pike episode two, one or two, I think. And we're talking about it again now. So thicker line. Uh, a little bit better because it's not when you're fishing lakes and stuff. You get you, you get stuck in a lot of things here, and you need a line that can really take a little bit of tear to it before it breaks. And uh, also, I'm uh, very. Uh, you have to be very disciplined when you're fishing like this, and cut, when you catch a big fish, and when you're been fishing for a couple of hours, half a day or a day, uh, take away a couple of meters of line, get rid of it because it's been worn down there. You might not have seen all these sharp um, stones and rocks and stuff that it hits, but it does. So make sure you get rid of that so you don't lose your big fish when you finally hook up. Uh, the reel is a Shimano Calcutta, uh, and this is a low gear reel. Remember, we're fishing slow. We're fishing very deep and close to the bottom. And almost every person, person that fish have a sort of... Uh, core speed or your average speed that when you stop thinking about what you're doing and you're talking to your friend this is sort of you know your normal speed that you go into and if you have a high geared reel the rubber lure is going to go too fast it's going to come up higher in the water and uh, especially now when you're fishing early spring when it's cold you need to slow down so the fish can do a proper take and really get that bait in the mouth so slow gear reel uh, or low gear reel. Now this is the Shimano 301D it's called. All right enough of that let's have a look at the Okaboji perch and how that's rigged. This is a pig shad and uh, I have a, uh, a homemade leader that Joye made for me. He is the tech operator in Canal Gratis and uh, this is a fluorocarbon strike wire 1.2 millimeters about that length uh, I think that's uh, good enough. You might, you maybe can have it a little bit longer because of the rocks and stuff, but yeah, that's basically what we do. And um, over here we have a uh, BFT flex head, and uh, this is a 25 grammer, and it screws into the rubber lure, which is very good. The, the flex head is attached to a pre made uh, BFT shallow stinger rig. It's called a BFT Shallow Stinger Rig and it's available in stainless or in titanium. This example here is the titanium, I think. This is fast. I don't have time to, as I said before, Yo, you made my fluorocarbon leader for me and we have a lot of stuff to do. I know you guys do too. When you maybe are working or you're in school, you need to save time, pre-made rigs, perfectly good. And I fished a lot with these pre-made rigs. We're talking years now. Never had one failure on those, so we're very happy for that. All right, so that was a little bit about what we're doing and what we're using and how to. So, uh, tricky day, yes. not a lot of fish action. We might have been a little bit early on this site and uh, we had a lot of bites today when the fish has gone just like this. They just go boom. You feel that boom, you try to set your hook, there's nothing there. Happened to me like six or seven times today. Uh, which is a lot when you river fish, I think, for big fish. So we had a couple of booms, but they're just being territorial. And we haven't caught any of these fish who gone boom like that yet. So probably this gives us the um, uh, uh, idea or impression that they might not have started spawning completely. There might be some big females out here that are still pre-spawn. So that's why they're just being territorial. They're not really interested in feeding. They're just banging the bait every now and then. So we're a little bit early, Stefan, but we got lucky with that big one. Yes. That fish was definitely a post-spawn fish. She was ready. She had, I mean, I just dropped my bait in there and she went boom. Yes. And there was no hesitation at all. And, and, and that's what pre-spawn fishing, uh, sorry, uh, post-spawn fishing should be like. Okay, guys, changing location. Sun is coming down. We have running out of time. I don't know about you guys if you have seen this uh, artifact before. This is the ballerina cracker. Uh, I don't know if you have it where you live. 
If you don't, I feel really sorry for you. It's a shame because you cannot go fishing without ballerina. This one is Mjöl Choklad, you know, cocoa flavored. There are, how many flavors do they have? They have uh, like I don't lots. know, there are uh, lots of flavors. They're super good. Yes. How many packs do we have? I don't know, there are many. <laughs> <laughs> really, really many. <laughs> All right, let's close it up. Let's capture. Yes.